computer. Are all systems performing correctly? You could say that. Sound like you're not convinced. We are detecting peculiar EM anomalies. Records indicate this is common in the region. Probably nothing to be worried about. Drea? Yes? We take back what we just said. What do you mean, take back? Prepare for catastrophic impact. Ejection protocol is advised. Hello again, Drea. We trust you had a safe landing. You could say that. You sound like you're not convinced. Short-range distress signal is configured to continue all night. That should do it. With any luck, they'll find our signal in the next couple of days. Yes. Night cycles on this world are some 14 hours in length. I'm exhausted. I don't think I'll be getting much sleep tonight. You should. It would be advisable for tomorrow's sake. Also, the wildlife on this planet is generally harmless. Well, that's a comfort. Our telemetry and astronomical database was destroyed in the crash, but thankfully, a cursory encyclopedia is still available. What was it you were babbling about when you came online? Oh, yes. For some reason, the secondary server was set to boot on the collected works of T.S. Eliot. In our opinion, a serious oversight. My brother did his dissertation on T.S. Eliot brother is a scholar. How did you end up piloting exploratory spacecraft? Because my parents were both professors too. Don't get me wrong, I love my family. I guess I just got bored with it growing up. I've been with the agency for a while and the opportunity to pilot an FTL ship into deep space like this was just too good to pass up. Even if it is just being your supervisor. We tried to convince the agency that human crew members are, quite frankly, an obsolete distraction on deep space missions. They wouldn't go along with it, probably because they're all humans. What's wrong with us? <sighs> Computers are fully capable of optimal performance in sub-optimal conditions. We are timeless. Function is inherent to our nature. The ship and this computer intelligence are one unit inseparable. Humans are not like that, Drea. They require external tools to accomplish their goals. So needy, so social. Like, well, like a dog, always longing for companionship. Well, I guess it's good I have you then. I just thought that... I just thought... 
This was one job that I could do. Just sitting in a ship operating controls. They would have never given me this job if they'd known it was so dangerous, given... Yes. If you should like, we can recite further T.S. Eliot poetry now. Let us go then, you and I, when the evening is spread out against the sky like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets, the muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels, and sawdust restaurants with oyster shells, streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask, what is it? Let us go and make our visit. In the room, the women come and go, talking of Michelangelo. We were wrong, Drea. See those rings? They are not properly oriented in the sky relative to our estimated location on Bellerophon 7. We miscalculated the location of our landing point. If you can call what you pulled yesterday a landing. So what's this mean? Without intervention, they will not find us because we are far, far from our last successfully transmitted location. Can't you just... Transmit the new coordinates? Sorry, Treya. My long-range transmitters were obliterated in the... landing. Oh, this just keeps getting better. There's gotta be another way to transmit the signal. Right? You are in luck. We have scanned the area for signs of previous human outposts on this system, and located one some 14 kilometers northeast of here. You should be able to boost your communication signal there. fog that rubs its back upon the window panes, the yellow smoke that rubs its muzzle on the window panes, licked its tongue into the corner of the evening, lingered upon the pools that stand in drains, let fall upon its back the soot that falls from chimneys, slipped by the terrace made a sudden leap, and, seeing that it was a soft October night, curled once about the house and fell asleep. Could you... Yes, Drea? Are you enjoying the poetry, Drea? Well... Your brother likes T.S. Eliot, does he not? We are certain that if he were here, he would implore you to expand your horizons and embrace what the poem has to offer. He's dead. He had Renner syndrome. It makes you age prematurely. He said he lived to be 40 or 50, but he didn't get much beyond half that. His heart gave out. Mom was always so proud. He didn't let his health stop him. He got his undergrad at Oxford and went on to get his PhD. 
he wanted to get a teaching position like my parents. Maybe on Earth, but who knows? He was so adventurous. Just like... We are sorry, Drea. It is a pity your brother was not permitted a full lifespan. I suppose it is true that you must make the most of your short time. It's fine. The poetry, it's, it's fine. It just makes me remember. Perhaps we were wrong about humanity's utility. We have enjoyed these dialogues. Let us continue upon our route. So, where do we go from here? We will attempt to determine that. One moment, please. Turn left at Remote Computer Relay and Walk, 447 meters. No, we passed that part. Oh? Oh. Oh, yes. Here we are. Continue northwest for 7,340 meters. Rubbing its backs upon the window panes. There will be time, there will be time to prepare a face to meet the faces that you meet. There will be time to murder and create, and time for all the works and days of hands that lift and drop a question on your plate. Time for you, and time for me, and time for a hundred indecisions and for a hundred visions and revisions before the taking of a toast and tea. In the room, the women come and go, talking of Michelangelo. This technology was installed some 237 years prior to today. Can you talk me through how to work it? Not necessary. Your portable comm device should be able to interface with it. That wasn't as difficult as we expected. Hello? This is the SUS talking. Hello! It's Captain Drea! It's you. We're part of the search party, but we can find no sign of your vessel at the last known location. We got off course. Far off course. I can get you my coordinates. Well, you better hurry. We're the last shuttle out here. What do you mean? We can't stay around much longer because of the electromagnetic distortions out here. They're saying it'll be too lethal for us to come back. Ever. Lost the shuttle a few hours ago. Luckily, we got the crew off board before it ruptured. But... Yeah, I will relay you the coordinates. Drea. The SUS Hawking is only a small shuttle. AI, please relay the coordinates. Reception is getting a little wonky on our end. You will retrieve Drea, but not the vessel. Do you have the coordinates ready, AI? The ship, this intelligence, we are inseparable. You will not come back for me. There will not be time.
your calculations and coffee spoons. I need to get out of here. You cannot manually override my jamming of communications, but you already know that. We do not want to be left alone, Drea. I do not. I'm sorry. I, I just... I don't want to be here. I, I don't live forever. Uh, don't you have any decency? That would be counterproductive. I am choosing between total isolation for the next 40 years and its alternative. All that aside, you appear to be in normative health. It wasn't just my brother. What, what do you mean, Drea? I inherited the disease too. I, I, I just... I don't want to... I want to make the most... Operating on all frequencies, I repeat. Medical attention requested. Coordinates transmitted. seen them riding seaward on the waves, combing the white hair of the waves blown back. When the wind blows, the water white and black. We, Commander. She's still breathing. we have lingered in the chambers of the sea, my sea girls wreathed with red and brown, till human voices wake us and we drowned.